Hello everyone, my name's James and I live here in Fuzhou, China. And uh, this is my first video and I felt it fitting to bring you to a place that I would say is the number one place to visit in Fuzhou. Sanfang Qishang. And that translates to three lanes, seven alleys. And um, it's a very well-preserved historical site. It's um, actually World Heritage listed as well, um, back in 2015, I believe. And uh, they've done a very good job at keeping the place preserved. Uh, and it's quite cool in a sense because they even have McDonald's built in the historical building as well as a Starbucks. Um, allow me to take you for a tour. We're just about to head down the main street now.
uh, that was the main street, um, and this is my first time using a stabilizer. <laughs> uh, apologies if I uh, didn't do a great job at keeping the camera stable or centered. Um, that'll come with practice, but um, I'm going to take you down some of the alleyways now so you can have a look and uh, see what to expect. I must say, it's quite beautiful here. Uh, the stone walls, the, s the stone and wood buildings, uh, even the, s the stone streets, walking on them feels great. There's just a sense, a great sense of history here, and if you walk 10 minutes that way, you're in a modern city. 10 minutes that way, modern city. Um, so you've just got this like a time capsule stuck in the middle of Fujiwara City and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, can't recommend it highly enough so if you ever come to Fujiwara and visit you need to come here.
around now for about an hour, going down the main street and down some of the alleys, and uh, it's hot. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's my recommendation if you do come to visit and you intend to walk around a lot, come in the cooler months. <laughs> And for those of you who are unaware of where Fuzhou is, it's the capital city of Fujian, and Fujian is located in the southeastern area of China, uh, pretty much right next door to Taiwan. And uh, it's possibly the greenest province of China, and it's uh, where all, all of the famous tea comes from as well. It's very mountainous, subtropical climate here. Uh, during the summer it can get very hot, we're talking mid to high 30s with high humidity and um, it's warm. <laughs> and in the winter months it's actually quite cold. So I highly recommend coming in the cooler months, but that's entirely up to you. Uh, Fuzhou itself is um, a developing modern city. It's got everything that you could wish for in a city. And it's green. There's plenty of parks, temples, and little mountain walks in and around the city. I guess you were just so misunderstood. You know I'm never truly gone for good. If I could look inside your brain, you know I would. You know I would. You know I'm not angry anymore. Just a little bit. Includes my uh, short walk around three lanes, seven alleys. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you're ever in town, make sure you check it out. Have a fantastic day or evening, depending on where you are in the world watching this. Take care. See ya. Bye.